If you like spinning up virtual machines on your PC, Oracle's VirtualBox is one of the best software that you can use. My name is Adullah, you're watching Gandhi Technology and in this video we're talking about how you can release allocated memory from your VMs in VirtualBox. Now, uh, first up we're going to fire up VirtualBox. Um, and as you can see, I have a test VM set up right here. Now, uh, if I select this VM and go to my settings, you can see that uh, under system, I have a base amount of memory allocated to it. And this is it. So at this point, you can either increase the amount of this memory. So it's recommended that you give it like at least four to eight GBs for your guest OS to run properly. So uh, this is where you can uh, adjust the base memory for your uh, RAM. So uh, this is essentially the RAM of your virtual machine, right? So you can dial it down, dial it up, and that's how you manage that. Alternatively, if you head over to storage, you will see uh, that this is a VDI file that's attached to your uh, virtual machine which in this case is uh, sort of the virtual hard disk that uh, virtual box creates for your particular machine now uh, this is virtually sized at 5 gbs and you can't quite change it once you've made it so the advantage of using virtual hard drives or vdi hard drives is that you can set a virtual size let's say 5 gbs in this case but it will only dynamically allocate storage. So if there is nothing in that file, as you can see, there isn't nothing. The virtual size is 5 GB, but the actual size on my drive is only 2 megabytes. And it's not going to ask uh, for more storage. As you can see, uh, uh, storage details, it's dynamically allocated storage. So unless I add more data to it, it's not going to grow in size. So you can, in most cases, ignore it. But if you want to um, sort of go ahead and play around with this, you cannot, uh, like I said, you cannot go ahead and uh, edit this once it's made, but you can just delete the file. So as you can see, it gives you the location right here. So if I go back, copy this location, come back to Windows Explorer, and I'm just going to paste it right here. SVM and here we are. So this is going to be saved here. Virtual box VMs. Double click it. Test VM and this is your test VM.vdi file. If I go to properties, you can see that this file is only 2 megabytes, but its virtual size is 5 GB. And if it's larger for you and you want to change anything, you can't, but you can just delete it and start with a fresh VDI file. Do keep in mind that it will wipe any OS installation or anything that you've made in your particular virtual machine. So you'll not be able to work with that particular option. So yeah, storage to recap, storage is VDI files. Once you've set them, you can't change them, but since they're dynamically allocated, they will only use as much space as of the data stored in them. If you want to edit RAM, you can just go to system and change the space memory slider anytime after you've turned off your virtual machine. And that is how you can remove virtual box allocated memory at any given point. If you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website candid.technology Follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.